I'm Robert Scoble, and today we're going to talk about the world of APIs, which are the programming interfaces that sit underneath the apps that we all use. So Mashery has been around for actually about four and a half years now, and uh, we're a platform that allows a lot of big and small companies to open up what are called APIs. And APIs sound like a very geeky technical thing, but really all it means is that if you have a service or an application or anything you do, let's say on your website at www.yourcompany.com, if you want that to run either on a mobile device or a third-party platform, maybe you want to integrate it into the Xbox or into someone else's website, you have to allow those apps to have access to your underlying services. There's a bunch of things you have to do. There's yep. developer communication, you've got to be interacting with the developers who are working on it, all this access control stuff, and then of course you've got to have a lot of analytics, because if you can't measure stuff, it's not a distribution channel. Yep. So all that stuff together, if you want to, if you're Netflix and you're saying, okay, I want to open this and do this, you know, this month, next month, um, if you're going to go build all that yourself, you're building something that already exists, that, that yep. others are already using. So either you can have your engineers who are supposed to be working on your core product build infrastructure like this, that would take you know, a year probably and a bunch of engineers and by the time you're done in a year there's going to be more things you're going to want. Or you come to us, we know what you need to do to have this be a successful distribution channel. So you've got this whole level of you know, fragmentation and, and, uh, um, and, and essentially uh, mass personalization, as it were, uh, of these different experiences. So that's a level of complexity that sort of makes the companies realize they need the sort of underlying services available, the building blocks of the APIs. Then you layer in the fact that you need to interact with a lot of different companies and services to create a great experience. So, you know, I use Salesforce.com, that's great. Baked into Salesforce.com is Hoover's, happens to be a customer of ours. Hoover's is, you know, business information. I don't want to have to leave Salesforce to look up the Hoover's yep. information. Opportunity. I want it right there inside and in the mobile. And these, so, so you have this need that, that people are now expecting. I mean, you mentioned it with Siri. People are not expecting Siri to say, hey, here's a great restaurant to go to. Now open the Open Table app and go make your reservation. Yeah. That's not what they're looking for. Yeah. First of all, nobody wants their site to be a big pile of widgets. Yeah. But also, any sophisticated site, all a widget is, is a sample app of an underlying API that, that people really want access to. And the widget says, I, the widget owner, am controlling the look and feel and user interface yeah. that's on your website. And the person on the website goes, no, you're not. Uh, yeah. You know, I want to control, I want to use your service, I'll give you attribution, you know, I'll play nice. However, it's my website and I wish to build that and I wish, wish to have your stuff interacting with the other things on my site and not just existing as this island. Right.